What's good, everybody? Boy, Kata, yeah. Listen now. Way back then, way back, way old, way back then. No, I'm kidding. Now, when this game got re uh, like dropped, I remember my sister came in my room and was like, "Yo, yo, they're they're making a new Harry Potter game." I'm like, well, "Harry Potter game." I don't know about that. Mm, I, I was, I'm not normally always down with the uh, movie, video games and stuff. I'm like I like role playing and stuff, you know, and everything. But she showed me the trailer and I was like, "Ooh, ooh, you got to create your character and this is like your story and everything." Yo, okay, yo, okay, I'm down, I'm down, and it went silent. COVID happened, and everything, and it just, oof, I, I didn't hear from it again. But scrolling through my newsfeed and I, I see this, I'm like, oh, okay, let's let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. This has been a while. It's been a while since I heard about this game. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. What's going on? I was doing a bloody review of this nice video and everything, and not realizing I wasn't even recording the whole time. <laughs> oh, I hate when that happens. But anyways, let's dive right in. In 2018, a Hogwarts Legacy gameplay trailer was leaked, and in 2020, the official Hogwarts Legacy announcement trailer was revealed. I love Harry Potter. Many similarities, Grew up on that. improvements, and even downgrades Ooh, between both nice. gameplay trailers. So, let's analyze, compare, and break them down. Hey, All right. Bro, welcome back to another Hogwarts Legacy Do you video. do this, sir? Let's I see what's going on. Yo, this game's going to look blessed. Down what I thought was the look at the, I trailer, hope this is going to be the graphics. I really hope. I really hope me to this conclusion the proper lead gameplay trailer has much more and much better footage which makes it worthy to compare against the official stay hydrated my friends September yeah, remember I'll to drink your water trailers in the description down below so you can sometimes comments can be hot outside drink yourself, that water but let's begin this breakdown 2018 yes. leaked gameplay trailer first displays the entrance doors to the great tool with two students opening the doors to the great tool and the students within in the official trailer we get to nearly the same thing but this time with a professor opening the doors to a much better lit great hall. I find it unusual how different the early door design was, being much worse than what we got. In I don't know how you can find that an issue. Up both like doors. the game's right. not even released yet, so it's gonna be a little bit of a shitty copy. As and more the years go on, of course it's gonna get better. Looking so, and candles, size of a great hall, and the I don't know. And About me, it's just like it, it's shapes. always gonna get better. Staircase, and as much as this isn't in the official trailer, we do actually have an updated official screenshot. See, updated, which was revealed but that looks nice. That looks real nice. Where the Hogwarts crest, lamps, fire, and lighting have all been improved. Not mm -hmm. to mention the population of students making the castle feel more like a school instead of just an empty castle. In its stead, the official trailer decided to replace the staircase and showcase more of the Hogwarts castle with the library, moving stairway, library again, and hall. Way. The character customizer nice. is only present in the 2018 leaked gameplay Ooh, trailer, presenting what? customizable options to change face shape, skin color, eye color, body shape, and seemingly mm. some option to sort into one of the Hogwarts houses. The I can't official wait. trailer didn't touch on this at all, and instead gave us a look at what being sorted into a house actually could look like in the Great Hall with the sorting hat. It's still unclear how we'll be sorted into houses, whether we pick attributes that determine our placement, choose outright, complete a quiz, or a just be oh, automatic. Gosh. How would you like to be placed in a Hogwarts house and which house would you pick if you have the option? Let me know in the comments down below. Honestly, I prefer to answer some questions and everything. Like, before you create the game, let me pause it. Before you create the game, I like create the game. Before you get started, you know, you create your character. I feel like and then you answer some questions and then, like, you, you're not told what house you're in. After you, you know, you create your character, you answer some questions. Then you're in the game. You're doing your stuff, yada yada. I don't know how the game's gonna go. Uh, and then when you get to the um, Hogwarts, you put the hat on and everything, and it's like, uh, you know, he he does his usual thing. And he's like, ooh, this is a uh, weird, uh, whatever, blah blah blah. <laughs> and then he tells me, he's like, you know, I'm thinking of putting you in, um. Was it Slytherin or 
or uh, Gryffindor. But when he says, you know, I'm thinking of putting you in Slytherin Gryffindor, and op the option should come up because remember, Harry, Harry got to choose. He got to choose. He was he was about to get put in Slytherin, but he's he's like not Slytherin, not Slytherin, you know. So, you know, the, the Sorting Hat takes your takes your um, want into consideration. So that's why I feel how the game should go. It's like you answer the questions, you put the hat on after, like you go throughout the game, you put the hat on after, then it's uh, yeah, then he's like, yeah, I'm thinking of putting you in uh, Gryffindor, and then it's like. And then, you know, the options come, come up and it's like, ah, you know, your choice is like, ah, I'd rather go in Slytherin or Hufflepuff, you know. Let's get to you. <laughs> See the transfiguration of a cup into an hourglass and an owl into a book. And in the official trailer, we see the transformation. Oh, I can't. I hope we will to choose our wands or even customize it. My favorite wand has to be Voldemort's wand. I love that. Voldemort's wand is my absolute favorite. I love that. Love that wand. Students brewing a magical potion of their own. And then one of the most comparable shots between both trailers is the herbology greenhouse. And like every other comparison made so far. I think the lighting, shadowing and graphics have been improved dramatically. But that's not consistently the case because here is where I believe we see the graphics make a downgrade from early leaks gameplay. In 2018 a student walks through Hogsmeade presenting the explorable area as an addition to Hogwarts. And in okay. 2020 we see the introduction to Hogsmeade and a small glimpse of the street for the same purpose. The less realistic graphic style of newer and updated gameplay does take a toll here when considering the ground and grass texture. In any video game, I'm much more of a supporter for realistic graphics over cartoonish, so I am a little disappointed by this choice. But by accepting this is what it's gonna be, I don't think I'll have a Honestly, problem with it. Honestly, I have no problems it with it. Isn't impossible no problems over here. To improve on the graphics even further with the extra year in development. The Grapporn is a fantastic beast featured in both trailers, and its in-game design has changed completely from 2018 to 2020. Likewise with Hogsmeade, I prefer the more realistic take of the original early gameplay instead of a more good. cartoonish style of updated gameplay. Because of this, I do think this is my least favorite shot of the announcement trailer. Leaked gameplay follows with a wizard This guy's judging quite harshly, I don't mind, but... This might be, using okay. the Guardian Leviosa to move pages of a book, Incendio to break through a doorway, Expulso to explode a door open, Stupefy to stun and kill goblins, and Expelliarmus mm. to repel another. Two students are then dueling in the court Yard, although in my opinion this early gameplay doesn't look even nearly good whereas the official trailer looks takes good. another direction exploring story and the deathly to like enemies and creatures we fight and look encounter at that. with this being a consistent factor between both trailers the leaked trailer presents for HUD and the official wait hold up well uh, it, it just occurred to me did he say death eater like I don't believe like I, I don't think this game is taking place when Voltimates around so I could be wrong, but if I'm right, you know, Death Eaters should not be around. <laughs> But this doesn't really matter because Hogwarts Legacy will have a HUD and likely the option to toggle on and off a HUD come release. One of my favourite scenes to compare between these two trailers is the student feeding the moon calves. The improvements made to the models, lighting, shadowing and everything in between is just so brilliant. This I think is a perfect representation of how good this game could look next year. Likewise with some of the other early Elite's gameplay shots, I had no Yo, idea this, this game's going to be wonderful, man. You know for a fact we're i'm gonna be playing this on the on the channel we'll be playing i'll be playing this with you guys don't worry about it i got you i got you traditional cutscene angles the official gameplay looks good here but i would say the design of a troll in its early stages is far superior for me the realistic take on a game is usually the best outcome and especially a game like this where you want to be immersed in the wizarding world experience in leaks gameplay a wizard uses the repairo spell to repair a broken bridge despite it not being the same we can see 
see the formation of a bridge in official gameplay, being the closest thing to it. Both look great, but in this instance, and again, the early Elite gameplay comes out on top with the rebuild animation. Although this could definitely really? still be in the final game. Both oh yeah, and I, I, I like both, so... That can't be compared between them. The official trailer with what you've surely seen many times over at this stage in the lead up to release, and Elite's gameplay with only a few extra shots. A look at a map, a student running towards a marker, and an owl sitting perched with a letter in its beak, being the end of Elite's gameplay trailer. It must be said, the newest trailer definitely ended better with a dragon flying over Hogwarts and a wizard looking ahead. The choices you make now will define the legacy of Hogwarts. Taking everything into consideration, Ooh, the mentors. I think Yay. <laughs> was to more than what was oh, man, that's going to be nice. And so they did that, with, in my opinion, a much better overall trailer. It's undeniably missing some of the great I really wonder what our Patronus charm is going to look like. Trailer, but I, expect this will be I, like, I wonder if you get to choose, or is it just like upcoming E3 2021 random. showcase in June? Which trailer do you think was better, design and content-wise? So let me know in the comments comments down below join the discord community for more information and personally i can agree with rat's ass like which trailer is better because like obviously old trailer new trailer they're showing what the updates like what's they worked on and everything so <clears throat> i don't know I, I don't really reserve exactly too much of a judgment because the game's not done so and plus they're, they're not going to show the exactly everything they did in the first trailer you know what i'm saying it's like yeah this is what the first trailer looks like and the second trailer this is other stuff like you know they showed like yeah you know better graphics better graphics but here's some other stuff that we're gonna be implementing in the game all right that's gonna cap it out for this video today hit the like button subscribe for more videos and i cannot wait for this game to come out let's go Thank <laughs> you.